What's going on everyone? This is Blake and in this video today I'm going to be sharing with you a tool that I recently discovered to automatically monitor and remove inactive members from your Facebook group. So if you own a Facebook group or run a Facebook group in any way, shape or form, I highly recommend diving into this video and checking it out. As I share my screen and cue the intro here, I'm going to be walking through a tool that I've been testing over the last couple of weeks that just released that allows you to automatically see a snapshot of who's engaged in your group, who's active and who is unengaged and inactive and at the click of a finger, remove those inactive members and fill your group up with the most highly engaged people so you can continue to propel that group to new levels of growth. So with all that said, I'm gonna cue the intro now and we will dive in and get started. All right, so as we dive into today's video and as I have my screen shared here, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step what this tool does, how to use it, and ultimately how to start deploying this tool to remove inactive members from your Facebook group and always seeing a high level view on who's engaged and who is not within your Facebook group as well. So prior to finding this tool, I used to put out posts basically every couple of months to my group asking people to comment below, letting me know that they enjoy being in the group, that they're active and they're engaged. And then I would have my assistant go back and look and cross reference and manually delete people that didn't comment on that post. Whereas now that no longer has to be a headache within my business anymore because this tool is now here and available to utilize, which is, is a really powerful tool that I've never seen before prior to discovering it these past couple of weeks. So this is the same tool that I use to remove inactive friends from my Facebook profile through friend filter, but they now deployed a new tool called group filter that is in beta right now, um, which I am rolling over and, and showing you exactly how to use this tool itself. So what you'll want to do is after you create your account and get all set up with that link in the description, if you need access to this tool or want access to this tool itself, once you get all that set up and log in, you will be looking at a screen very similar to this. What you'll want to do is connect your free Facebook group or your paid Facebook group, whatever group you're looking to monitor the members on and remove inactive members from first. So I've already done that one first step here by basically connecting my free Facebook group on CEOs to this tool. So now that this group's connected, if you need to connect another group, you can click here and it's going to basically scan your groups. This is just showing you exactly how to connect that group itself. And it's going to show you what other groups you have available. So I have my coaching group here. I have my free group. I have my workshop group. I can come in here and add all of the other groups that I have that I've created in the past as well. For now, I've already connected my core main free Facebook group on Leech CEOs. So this is where we, we will begin with. So now that this is connected, we want to go back to the screen where it's the main screen where you see the dashboard. Below this, what we're going to do is go down to members. And we're going to start seeing some information populate for us here. Now, in order to get the most accurate up-to-date information on who's active in this group, who isn't, how many times they've engaged, how many times they haven't, we're going to want to first check the settings here because this is important. So we're going to go to settings and we're going to set how many days back you want this to fetch in order to populate this data itself. So if you only wanted to go back 10 posts back or 20 posts back, you can do that. If you want to go back by days, you can go by days itself. For this example, as I run this on this video for the for you guys itself right here, I'm going to do a shorter term just to make it so it's quicker. And we will fetch less comments just to show you what that looks like. But you can play with these. I recommend to kind of keep with the settings. If you want to ramp it up a little bit more, you can. Obviously, the further back you go, the longer it takes to run the scan. Because before we can remove anyone, before we can see any metrics on who's engaged, who isn't, we have to scan those members first. So I have these settings set here and now I'm going to go back to members. And at this point, I'm going to do two things. Number one, I'm going to sync members first. And then next up, I'm going to sync engagement second. So I've already done the members before. So I'm going to go sync members here and we'll let this load up a little bit just so you can see how this runs, but it's going to go through and scan all of the members in my group right now. For the sake of time within this video, I won't let this one run all the way through because this one will take a little bit longer. I'll just jump right into syncing engagements next to show you a breakdown of what that looks like. So we will end this. And you'll see here, you're probably looking and saying, well, this looks weird. You only have 93 active people in your group and only 1,247 inactive. 
I ran a test before this video only scanning a really small amount of hosts. So it's only pulling in those small amount of people. Um, just for sake of example, for you guys to keep things shorter and sweeter in this video, so you're not watching a large scan take place. So now that we have the members in, that will be the first step that you want to do. Next up, we're going to sync engagements. So I'm going to click sync engagements next. It's so going to pull up my group. And we will let the tool do its thing here. All right, so now that we've run that small sync of engagements based on the settings that I set, now we can see here who is active and who isn't. Again, this is showing a smaller sample size because I only scanned a small portion of posts going back, but we can still see high level who in the group is active and who in the group is inactive. And really nice thing is we can come to these inactive members here and we can go to, let's say we select these three members here you can select them all in bulk by checking them all and clicking select all. Let's say you had, let's say, for example, AJ up top here. We don't, we want to make sure that even though he's not super engaged, he's a friend of mine. And I want to make sure that he stays in the group or anybody that you want to whitelist. So, you know, you're not removing them from the group in the future, maybe as clients of yours or people that you have a close relationship with, you can add them to whitelist here. And it will make it so they will no longer show up in this inactive section for you to remove so you that way you can't accidentally remove them. Next up, let's go through an example aside from whitelisting on how we can actually remove members. So if we click a few names down below here that are inactive, now we can click remove members. It's going to take us straight to our Facebook group. It's going to automatically remove those members for us. And then it's going to show us exactly when it's done. So now we know those three members are removed and we are good to go. You, I'll move this over slightly so you can see it a little bit larger with the recording button here. You can't see, but basically what this tool allows you to do is remove a hundred members a day because they know that if you're going and using automation to remove 200, 300, 400 members a day, that if you do that, it will likely throw up red flags to Facebook and it will cause issues with your account. So in order to eliminate that, they put a limit on it so you don't go over that limit and cause any issues. It makes things super safe to utilize. So safe tool to use, powerful tool to use, and a massive time saver when it comes to monitoring who's active and who's inactive in your group and ultimately removing those members as well. The main benefit of this tool more than anything else, just like removing inactive friends in your Facebook profile, is when you deploy this and you utilize this to remove members consistently, by trimming your group down to a engaged group of people that aren't just a bunch of inactive people floating around in there, your group will naturally start to grow more. It will grow faster because it's full of members that enjoy the content that you put out. They're engaging with the content that you put out and they enjoy being there itself. So this is a great way to make sure that you're keeping your community engaged, clean, and full of people that love being there so you can grow and ultimately bring more of those people into your group going forward. So as we close out today's video, walking through this group filter software and how to use it, Remember that whether you're using a software, or whether you're doing this manually, it's important to set a reminder for yourself to do this, at least I like to say every three months to make sure that you're keeping your group fresh, you're keeping it clean, you're showing that you care for the members in the community, and also you're showing that you care for yourself as the group owner, because if the more engaged people you can put inside this community and the more unengaged people you can remove, the more your group will grow, the more your content will reach more people within the group itself and the more impact you will be able to have on your members overall. So with all that said, if you want access to this tool, be sure to click the link in the description below. I have that linked for you where you can plug into a direct free trial from me to test out this tool, do a trial run, do a trial removal and see how you like it. And with all that said, again, if you have not already, be sure to click the subscribe button if you got value from this video and if you want to see more videos from me on tips, tricks, strategies, and frameworks to scale your business to six figures and beyond. With all that said, that's a wrap for this video. Thanks again for watching. 
And if you're looking to check out more videos on different software tools that I use within my business, I'm gonna recommend one here at the end for you to check out on this end screen that is basically the second version of this group filter tool called Friend Filter, which allows you to remove inactive friends on Facebook. This is a tool that I use weekly within my business with Facebook Organic, and I highly recommend you check that out and the video walkthrough with it so you can see exactly how to work it, just like we did in this video here. So with that said, I will close out on that note. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all on the next video.